Hey guys, so this is the Victor Class Heavy Frigate by Sevier. It has 14,540 PCO. Alright, I'm gonna fly around the exterior now. Hmm, there's like some assault cannons. Alright, so that's the whole exterior. Hmm, in terms of weaponry, they have these assault cannons. You guys know how I feel about us. Those are not really that great because the range is only 1.4 kilometers. They could just definitely replace the assault cannon turrets with artillery turrets. And in front here, we have we have a single railgun and some artillery cannons. I think it would be better if they're they are all railguns instead of artillery cannons because in PvP they will be a lot more useful and we have double connectors here I'm not sure how to feel about that if you really want a docking port like this a single connector would suffice and I'm not sure about this thrusters placement right above the docking connector that will limit what can dock with the ship of course you can just stop the ship while you're docking but still and not to mention how recessed these docking ports are like you see there's like this extrusion here and this extrusion here it's just gonna be hard to dock with a lot of stuff with this kind of connector even though it looks cool recess like this it's not the most useful or practical configuration and it's mirrored on the other side uh, I really think that's a waste of PCO because you have two doors and two more connectors that's like what uh, 400-500 PCO a single side entrance like this would suffice and that's gonna save a lot of PCO alright, let's get inside now and see what we have inside so there's a simple L here this is great mm. there's a lot of doors inside I don't think you need this many doors there's a turret controller here's the jump drive alright, so if you delete a lot of these doors, you can save like maybe a thousand PCO and this is gonna give you a lot more to play with. Mm, here's the habitation area, I think. There's a programmable block, some beds here. I like this uh, configuration of the habitation area because it's very optimized, you don't have that many doors and you kind of use grates here with all the components below and you use cargo containers as floors all of those are great because they optimize the ship a lot so they are kind of wasted by the waste of PCU back there with a lot of doors alright, so in front here there's a locker and some seats as well as freight containers alright I think that's the whole interior. There's another airlock here. Let's check the internals now. So they have four hydrogen tanks. I mean, that's not a lot, but since they use ion thrusters as well, this is kind of fine. There's no atmospheric thrusters, and there's a lot of large ion thrusters. There's a lot of batteries, that's good. And there's, oh, there's so many reactors there. I don't think you need that many reactors. You can just use batteries. But if you do feel the need for that many reactors, I would suggest getting a single large reactor at this point, and you will save a lot more PCO. There's no production on the ship. That's not good. And there's no hydrogen engine on the ship. So without production, this ship will be completely dependent on another ship or a base to make repairs and that's not a good thing and it has a lot of gyroscopes alright, let's see how it flies now hmm. so the handling is fine the ship weighs 2 kilotons so I'm sure this will be able to fly in atmosphere in 1G just barely but at least it can fly in atmosphere alright, let's go to atmosphere now and see how it flies 
Alright, so like I thought it can fly in atmosphere, barely, because you can see it's struggling to keep itself up. But at least it can fly in atmosphere. So I won't recommend doing combat in atmosphere with this ship, especially if it's loaded. Because if you lose any of those small thrusters, like if you lose two of them, then the ship will start falling to the ground. Uh, the ship also doesn't have any respawn point. Uh, 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 I mean, if you just delete some of the doors or some of the connectors, you can totally add a survival kit or a medical room. And I think a respawn point for a ship like this will be infinitely more useful than those extra doors or those extra connectors. So yeah, that's the Victor class heavy frigate by Sephir. Uh, it's a nice looking ship, but it can certainly set its priority straight because there's just a lot of weird options from the weapons and the fact that it has no production as well as having no respawn point and you have a lot of doors that are like wasting PCO which is a shame because this ship would otherwise be a fairly optimized ship Alright, let's crash this to the ground now Alright, that's the Victor Class Heavy Frigate by Sephir. You can find the link in the description below.